he played last year made a big difference in where he's ended up this year. As he throws on first down and it's intercepted and it's going the other way for a touchdown. Picked off by Warren Saba and it's 6-0 ECU in the blink of an eye. And you can feel like there's good reason to do that. This ECU defense struggled mightily last year, especially down the stretch. And there's the completion that he was looking for, find Sam Pinckney for the first down, giving him the ball because it was such a heavy workload. But when you find success with it, no reason to switch it up. Big opportunity here for the Panthers as they turn things upfield and get right on the doorstep of the red zone. A huge play. Number zero, first time ever in school history. Handoff for Coates with space to the outside. He cuts it back, turns upfield, dives at the goal line. Touchdown, Panthers. Offense is just going to go tempo, tempo, tempo. Third and short. And the handoff may not be enough to get them the first down. Beginning of the broadcast today had last week's game postponed at the last minute. There's a burst to start this drive on the handoff to Coates, who went for a buck 50 a couple weeks ago. Speed in two steps. Brown is back to pass with plenty of time. He lost it deep down the middle of the field. The pass is caught, and it's a Georgia State touchdown for Sam Pinckney. Don't blink, because you're going to miss the action today. Yards on a drive in 61. Pretty good efficiency there. Destin Coates, blockers in front. Another first down run for the junior from Tallahassee, Florida. He faced the fastest team in the country last week in the UCF uh, Knights. Third down and five. They've got the first down with the pass to Aubrey Payne, the redshirt senior tight end. Amazing, right? The carryover from dribbling up 94 feet to being able to play quarterback. That pass incomplete and nearly intercepted. A very late flag comes in as well with some contact there perhaps between Malik Fleming and it looks like defensive pass interference. And just at the top of the round, so right here he's going to cut back, and he grabs both hands on the jersey and just throws him by. <laughs> Extrapolation, you're looking at maybe seven, 800 on that pace. Wow. A toss to the end zone, it's another touchdown. Jamari Thrash gets the pass over the top. Third and eight, pressure comes. Ehlers evades the first wave. He throws on the run downfield, and it's hauled in by Sneed. What a grab at the 35-yard line to keep the drive alive. From the linebackers, Ehlers is not very comfortable. Ehlers to Harris, who is immediately dropped as he tries to make his way upfield. By from Georgia State. Can they stop the rush? Ehlers flips it up, and it's incomplete. A one-hopper at the 15-yard line, trying to connect with his tight end, Shane Calhoun. Seven-pointer. So it's five penalties in the opening quarter, 48 yards. They go deep again for Pickney, and he brings it in to the 20-yard line. They said, hey, if it worked for us last time, we'll do it again. Same matchup as Pickney beat McMillan down the sideline. Picked up at least 20 yards in a single snap. See what they do here. Brown, tight end. Plenty of time. He goes underneath for Dixon, who dives forward and has the Georgia State first down. It's first and goal. It's a great job. Brown with the shovel back. He gives it to Greg, who leaps and is in for a touchdown. A flipping hurdle for Greg, and it's 27 to 7. But there, which I was surprised with. Third down for the Pirates. Ehlers is flushed. A back foot lob is caught. Nice grab of the 44-yard line to keep the drive alive by Blake Prohl. Fox won a title at Ohio State. Played in the NFL as a defensive back. I'm Mike Cousins. Holton Ehlers across the middle. And so far, as he's hit Sneed here for another first down. Threw for 535 yards in a single game last year. There's a lot of contact there at the 25. There is a flag on the long pass for Johnson. Three points in this type of ball game. Ain't gonna cut it. Ehlers back to pass on the 10th play of the ECU drive. Now on the run, at the line of scrimmage, he lost it to the end zone, and it's incomplete. Oh. A foot shorter, and that would have been a touchdown. Instead, a foot on the paint. Makes it fourth down. Um, but the left one hits on the, the white. And 
ECU's going to have to settle for three. And Jake Verity on for the field goal. The try from 34 yards in a single game in ECU history. And looking to build upon what was a good season for him last year. That throw, however, is going the other way. It's picked off. This was led by the pressure. You're going to see... It's 47 getting in there. Jashon Taylor, who gets the, the arm just enough to allow this throw behind his target. Going back to August 29th, both postponements and cancellations. Pass complete. Cornelius McCoy, you've been asking where he was, and there he is delivering them a first down inside the red zone. Because all of a sudden, it goes from a negative play to a six-yard game. Brown single coverage into the end zone. The pass is caught, and that's a touchdown. What a throw, but perhaps even better on the catch for Pinckney to throw a lot. Yeah, and the, the running game's not effective because the offensive line has not yet been effective. Right, they've, they've been pushed around by the Georgia State Panthers defensive front. They've done a great job all afternoon. Free play. Beautiful. And a toe tap first down for Blake Prohl so they can decline the penalty and take the first down and keep it moving. Coverage. They've become so much more confident. They'd be more aggressive, and you're seeing it here early in this game. Five-man rush against Ehlers, who tucks it right away. He's across the 30 and dives for the first down. 25, it should be. Go. Ehlers started to run, now look to pass, and he gets driven backwards by the cavalry of blue and white. See, he's got... See why you take a field goal here, but still going to be down 22 if you make it. Flag is down, kick is up. And it is good for Verity from 40 yards. Not to come back from, especially where your defense is played. Five-man rush. Ehlers on the run, and he's wrapped up around the ankles and brought down inside the five-yard line. A huge stop for the native of Georgia. Looking for the end zone, and the pass is intercepted. The big-time play that ECU needed to get the spark on defense, Jaquan McMillan, who had three picks a year ago, comes up with another here. And these guys need to keep that weight on. Design roll for Ehlers. Hit as he throws. Omotosho with the catch around the eight-yard line. Ball's out. Ball is loose. Still loose. And scooped up by ECU. Well, how about this? An interception and now a lost fumble, and Fortune has favored the Pirates in this third quarter. You'll watch them give the football off to Coates, and right off the edge, is that 35 coming in there? Into Georgia State territory. Pressure right up the middle once again. Ehlers has to roll. He lets it go, and it's picked off. That ball hung for an eternity, and Quavian White has the interception creating confusion for the offensive line. This time ECU with pressure, it doesn't get there in time, and Pickney's got the grab, and another Panthers first down. You just can't do it against Georgia State. Eight drop back in coverage, ball is tipped, and incomplete. There you go. It's exactly what you want to do. And your defense for East Carolina has played extremely well here in the second half. Staying five wide on the drive, distributing evenly. Jeremy Lewis. Ehlers sees Prohl cutting across the middle. He reverses course, but he's wrangled down. Yarder in, in warm-ups today. Yeah, coaching staff said he can hit from 60 in the right conditions. That was good from 60. <laughs> and he nails it. I would as their three starters, and they didn't win a game. How's that possible? <laughs> How is that possible? ECU on the move, and Georgia State just as quickly is going the other way. A pick six for Antavius Lane. It was totaled from a year ago. The blitz is on. Sneed is open. The COVID positivity test also picked second to last in the American Conference, only ahead of the University of South Florida. And this is a legal try here from 47 for Verity, who's got the leg and they run a fake. 
How about that? Off to the races and a touchdown for Sneed. Great call. Sneed with a need for speed and he's got the touchdown. Wow. Here in the second half. And Locked the punt up. is blocked. And ECU takes that opportunity and turns it into a touchdown. Wow. How about that? Two back-to-back. -back. Well, he missed the PAT. Ish to go for it. And that's why you go for it in the situations. You don't want to ever give momentum back to another team like East Carolina. That's a great start there for this drive it's here in the box. Still have some chances down the field to take some shots. The pitch and a one-handed catch for Dixon. Oh, he's got room to run. A blocker in front. And he's shaded out of bounds at the 34-yard line. You got the young player in there. They're going to run the option again. And they Short. don't get the first down. All right, so now you're going to make that decision again. You got about a yard there, so it's going to be fourth and two. 44, just about straight on. The kick with good leg. No good. Is no good. Pressure comes. Ehlers is hit hard. That throw incomplete. It bounced on its way. And a turnover on downs. The give is for Coates. He's got space. He's inside the 10. And out of bounds there. It's not. Brown with Coates leading the way. And he has another touchdown to cap off a victorious Saturday for Georgia State.